Jessica Dempsey. Check it out now. Small win for a little way. Now, if you guys don't know, actually, it's not even small. Okay, this is pretty fucking huge. However, if you guys don't know, Lil Wayne of the goddamn Phil Slave of the Birdman Sandusky Plantation, he's finally got his walking papers, okay? And he's also getting his 40 acres in a mule. Now, if you guys don't know, man, Lil Wayne was claiming that he's probably owed like 100 million, all right? He sued Birdman for 51 million, claiming he didn't get paid from Drake, Nikki, Tiger, Little Twist, all of their royalties from YMCMB. But he also said he didn't get advances for Carter 3, for Carter 4, and because of that, he ain't giving and submitting no Carter 5. So basically, he said that he was owed up to 51 million dollars from Cash Money Records, which is Birdman. And basically, Birdman was saying, Playboy. You might get a goddamn kiss on the cheek, on the lips next time, but you ain't getting a fucking dime, okay? We could pop some bottles and live, but you ain't getting a fucking penny. Now, after that, Lil Wayne took his frustrations out on UMG. If you don't know how it works, basically UMG cuts a big-ass check to Birdman and tells Birdman to handle everything with artists like Drake, Nicki, and from what I'm being told... Nikki and Drake, because their shit is kind of ran through Republic based on how that deal is set up, they don't really got no money problems over at Cash Money. However, Birdman's son, which most of his contracts, I'm talking about Wayne's contracts, they're all grandfathered in, and Wayne signed when he was like a child. Basically, that nigga's in a fucking slave contract, so when it came time for him to recoup on certain shit, man, Birdman already spent that money in a fucking Bugatti, okay? So... Lil Wayne looks at UMG and says, yo, y'all should have knew not to give Birdman that money. Y'all knew that money was going to get to me, so he sued them for $40 million. Now, UMG has announced, and this is coming through the blast, that the lawsuit will be dismissed because they've reached a settlement, okay? They've reached a settlement that Lil Wayne will drop his lawsuit against Birdman and UMG, which was for the amounts of $91 million, and apparently he will get Way over $10 million. We're not getting the uh, exact amount. Some people are saying it's $10 million. From what I'm hearing, it's tens of millions. So we don't know the exact amount. But he's getting a settlement. And this is where the important part is. Of course, for him, the important part is giving me the cash. But for us, we don't want this to happen again. Now, no longer will he be on Cash Money Records. Universal Music Group will now upstream his shit directly, so he signed directly to Universal Music Group, not through Cash Money as an artist. So Wayne is no longer on Cash Money, okay? Second thing, and this is the thing that's not that clear yet, and we're hoping to get some clarity. If you don't know, Birdman and Wayne, they own a half each of YMCMB, which means Drake and Nicki and whoever else on Young Money, they're supposed to get half of the profits on the label side, okay? Wayne gets half, Birdman gets half. However, now that everything is being dissolved and they're kind of separating in the settlement, what happens to Nikki and Drake's contract? Because, of course, if I'm Wayne, the check you give me better be fucking huge for me to basically bypass all the future earnings that Nikki and Drake will get. Or perhaps this is all a thing where Universal Music Group just steps in and says, everything goes through us now. Okay, cash money, you guys can no longer be trusted. Everything will go through us. We're going to pay some of your debt because y'all ain't trying to pay it. But because y'all can't pay our debt, we will now control some of your artists and we will deal with everything on a label side instead of it going through cash money records. Okay. Who knows? They were in a club a couple weeks ago. I'm imagining that this settlement would make Lil Wayne happy because now he got some more M's in the bank. But I'm wondering what Nicki and Drake thinks because if their contract gets moved off cash money, yeah, you could still shout young money, but young money no longer would be with cash money if that's how it got dissolved. Okay, clearly Birdman and Lil Wayne cannot do business together, and I hope all business ties have been severed, but the report is that he will now be allowed to drop Carter 5 directly through Universal Music Group because he is no longer on cash money, and he got paid a big-ass lump sum, tens of millions of dollars by UMG to throw away his lawsuits and be good with whatever he was owed, okay? We'll see what happens in the future. Hopefully, we get Carter 5 this year. I did predict that it would probably come next year by summertime. I think Wayne could heat up the streets back, dropping music and getting back in a groove. And, of course, I'm always checking for the Carter 5. Y'all checking for the Carter 5? Y'all let me know. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to Bojack Academics. I'm up.